Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Serena. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put together these super gorgeous, super easy, super glam, faux floral bouquets. If you guys are anything like me, you love fresh cut flowers. I mean, I, I love fresh cut flowers and I'll always keep them in the house, but I love me some faux florals. They just add a touch of class to your room and your home decor, whichever room you're using them in. And I just think they're so beautiful. Plus, the best part is they never die. This is a really good idea if you are thinking of something simple for Mother's Day. This is a great gift for mom and it's so easy to put together and it really does not take a lot of time. It's just nice to be able to give something to your mom that you made yourself that doesn't look like macaroni glued onto a piece of paper. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, if you guys are interested in how I put these together, then go ahead and keep watching. Just a side note, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Serena. I put out new videos every week on crafting, home decor, makeup, product recommendation, and pretty soon vlogs will be back coming at you. For those of you guys who have been following me for a little while, I am bringing vlogs back. I will have some more time on my hands very soon, and so I will be bringing vlogs back. So if you guys are interested in seeing more of me, then go ahead and click that little subscribe button down below. Be sure to hit that little bells notification button if you want notifications every time I upload something new. So without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, first I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna need to put this project together. First, you're gonna pick your flowers. I picked these gorgeous, large white blooms from Michaels. These are the Ashland Home brand. I'm usually very happy with the Ashland Home brand flowers. They usually have a pretty realistic bloom and the price is usually right, especially because Michaels always has 50% off sales during the week. So pick your flowers and then you're gonna pick your vase. In my case, I picked three small vases. I actually already had these lying around the house from a previous project, and I knew that they would look absolutely gorgeous in my dining room or on my entryway table. I like the small size, and then the mirrored and the gold goes perfect in my dining room. So I knew that I couldn't go wrong with these, but you can pick whatever vase you want. These are old, like I said, these are from home goods and I got them over a year ago but it's usually pretty common that you're gonna find something similar to this in their little bathroom decor section next what you're going to do is you are going to get a butter knife or a firm knife and a pair of scissors that you don't care about it's important that you use a pair of scissors that you don't care about because you are gonna be using you're gonna be using them to cut plastic which is totally gonna to dull them Next, what you're going to do is you're gonna pick up some floral foam. You gotta make sure you buy the dry floral foam, that's important. There is wet floral foam and there's dry floral foam. Wet is for real flowers and dry foam is for faux flowers, so keep that in mind when you are shopping. Let's get started. What you're gonna do first is you're going to figure out where you want to cut your flower. I, like most things, I just kind of eyeballed it. So I took my vase and I held it up to the base of my flower stem and just kind of eyeballed where I figured I was going to need to cut it, keeping in mind that there's gonna be a few inches of floral foam towards the bottom of the vase and that the flower is gonna stick out a little bit because of the floral foam. These Ashland home stems are cool because they have that notching that kind of is a great guide on where to cut throughout the stem. So you're gonna take your scissors, lock them in, and then just kind of twist until you score the plastic enough to separate it from the wire. Once you feel the plastic separate from the wire, you're gonna bend the wire back and forth until you feel that snap. And that wire will just snap and then you're gonna have a clean break there. So you're gonna just do that about, in my case, I have nine stems, so I'm gonna do that about eight more times. Again, just cutting that plastic and then bending that wire back and forth until it snaps. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Next, what you're going to do is you are going to cut your floral foam to shape. 
So you're gonna grab your vase and your floral foam and you're gonna grab your firm knife or your butter knife, whatever knife you're choosing to use. This one is cut into threes, but usually I cut in half or in fourths just because I don't like to waste the floral foam. So you can measure if you wanna be really precise, but of course, again, in true Serena fashion, I just kind of eyeball it and then chop away. Um, like I said, I don't wanna use a, I don't want to use all of the floral foam because it's just going to be too hard to stick the flowers in. But B, it's just easier to chop away and then you can use the excess foam for future floral projects. It's a little money saving tip for you. So you're just going to cut your large piece and then I'll use that little sliver there to just kind of hold it in place. I don't want the foam sliding around too much in there, but I really don't care if it's packed completely firm. I'm not going to be running around shaking the flower arrangement, so it's really just going to be sitting stationary on a table. It doesn't matter. Next, you're going to grab your pre-cut flowers, and then you're just kind of going to eyeball what kind of a mapping you're going to want for your flowers. In this case, I only need three blooms per vase. Since they are such a voluminous flower, it's going to be really easy to fill that space, and I'm not going to need a bunch of flowers. So you're going to kind of roughly stick them in there and then once you get the third one in there you're just going to kind of play around with it and you're just going to dig them deeper until you're happy with it. Now I usually will sit for like five minutes and fluff the flowers around until I'm happy and stare at it from all angles because that's just how I roll. I'm sure you guys are totally the same. So that is basically all you do. It's super simple. You're just gonna fluff it around until you get your desired look and the foam is super easy. If you didn't like it, you could take it out, you could add flowers, um, take flowers out if you wanted, completely reposition it if you want. So the floral foam makes it really easy to, even if you wanted to change out the flowers for a different season, you could totally do that as well. And since I am using three vases, I'm just going to repeat that process two more times. And here we have our finished product. I told you guys this is the easiest thing ever. Super simple, it takes no time at all, and really the sky is the limit when it comes to options. You can choose whatever color you want, you can choose whatever type of a vase that you want, and you can mix and match the colors, whatever you want to do, and you can make it as big or as small as you want. I personally just really like the simplicity of the white with the silver. It pretty much fits all of my home decor. As If you guys have watched my channel before and you've seen any of my little DIY home decor videos, you see that I like to keep in the same color palette and tone range, and this just fits in perfectly with all the mercury glass, gold, glam, glitter, and white that I do have in the house. I do think that a pro tip is to obviously always look for the most realistic flowers that you can or the most not cheap looking. I love Michaels for their floral options. I love Michaels and Hobby Lobby. These ones are obviously from Michaels from Ashland Home. I feel like Ashland Home has really great florals to choose from and obviously I personally think it's the best aesthetic if you stick with one color um, and that you just go with a larger bloom. If you want to save money then make sure that you do go with a larger bloom like a hydrangea or I think this is supposed to be a peony or a ranicula. Um, I'm not really sure but whatever you like, whatever suits your taste the most, pick that and go with that. But like I said, the cost will climb the more flowers that you buy. Um, so do purchase a larger bloom if you're looking to save a little bit of money and I just think it looks more grand. Another money saving tip, don't ever pay full price when you go to Michaels or Hobby Lobby. If you download the app for Michaels or the app for Hobby Lobby, there are always coupons and I always keep an eye out for the sales on floral. A lot of the time during the week, you're gonna find the floral stems um, of whatever season to be 50% off. I got each of these for 50% off and I think the, the original price was around $5.99 or something for these, so these were a great buy. But the more expensive stems, you can always get them for 50% off if you look out for sales 
or if you download the apps and you get the coupons through the apps and then you can just scan them at checkout. Another pro tip I personally recommend is to keep your leaves for other floral projects. I really never use them when I'm going for something as simple as these floral displays, but you can easily just pluck these off just like that. And I would personally save them in a little Ziploc bag. I have a Ziploc bag in one of my craft trunks somewhere that's full of leaves. You never know when you're gonna need them. I know it sounds kind of random, um, but if you are doing a Halloween costume or you have kids and they're in a school play, you kind of never know when you're going to need a bunch of faux leaves. So they might come in handy later on and if you are thrifty like me, save them and you never know, you might be surprised when you reach into that bag and use them for whatever crafty project that you have. Pro tip, save your leaves. Well guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys are not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button down below I post new videos every week and I'd love to have you as a subscriber also if you already are a subscriber but you want to get notifications every time I upload something new make sure you click that bells button down below thank you guys so much for watching love you so much Mwah. see you in the next video